everybody, I'm Allie, and this is my YNR chat vlog for Sunday, June 20th. You know, a wise man named Kenny once told me, and I'll never forget it, you gotta know when to hold them, and my friends, you gotta know when to fold them. You see, there are times when you gotta know when to walk away times when you gotta know when to run <laughs> and uh, Adam should have ran he should have ran 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 um, every instinct was telling him this week get out of Sao Paulo uh, but he and Sky had to stay they had to go for one more big score and it could very well cost them everything um I loved the casino scenes this week I thought it was wonderful. Um, there's a lot of great photography and just intensity. It was fun. It was something different. And I loved, of course, seeing uh, Jack and Victor all tuxedoed up and working together to entrap Sky. Uh, well, not working together too much. Um, Jack couldn't pass on the opportunity to take, try to take Victor's money at the uh, poker table. I thought that was brilliant. And who could blame Jack? Jack actually saved Victor's life earlier in the week, saved him from a sinking boat. Did Victor say thank you? No, not once. He basically looked at Jack and said, how did you get here? It was inconvenient. It was inconvenient for Victor to be saved by Jack. Um, but now that Jack has served his usefulness, Victor has sent him back to Genoa City uh, to, to be with Nick during his trial. And now Victor's last hope really, of catching Adam is, um, Sharon. Um, he's trying to bait the hook, and she's, she's the, she is pretty good bait. Um, because she has arrived in Sao Paulo now, and I really, I cannot wait to see the live interaction between Adam and Sharon. The phone conversation was good enough. It was intense. And now I'm really looking forward to seeing Adam and Sharon actually coming face to face. Um, not just in Adam's dreams. He's been daydreaming about her all week, but I want to see him actually interact. Um, because Sharon is truly Adam's Achilles heel. She's the only person that is able even to get through to him a little. And I also like the interaction because um, I feel like Sharon draws out Adam's only redeeming quality, you know? Uh, maybe it's shame. I don't know. But she's the only one that um, makes him a little bit uh, human uh, and is, is his only redeeming quality. Well, actually, okay. Adam looks kind of cute in his st stupid new beard. <laughs> I said kind of, okay? I must have a brain tumor. Well, we are all over the globe this week. Uh, Billy and Victoria and Ashley and Tucker all went to Tokyo to do a little business, have a little sex, have a little sex, do a little business. Do a little business while having sex. <laughs> Origato, YNR. <laughs> um, Billy and Victoria continue to intrigue me. I still think they're very hot. Um, the push and the pull between these two is just very intense, and it continues to intrigue me. Um, and did you catch Billy and Victoria uh, karaoke singing the song that Billy and Mac used to sing together? I think that suggests that we could be seeing an actual future for these two, which I, I would enjoy. Um, now, what about Tucker and Ashley? What do you guys think? How, how are you feeling about this? How do you feel about Ash, uh, Ashley and Tucker? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, I don't approve of Ashley cheating on Neil. But I also think that Ashley and Tucker are pretty hot. Um, and I think that Ashley and Tucker make a better couple than Ashley and Neil. I think, I don't know, I just, I, Ashley and Tucker just seem to go together very well. But if Tucker screws her over, I am going to be very, very upset with him. Because I can feel him just feeding Ashley the lines that she wants to hear, you know. Oh, you're, you're beautiful and you're strong and I can't imagine that anyone would not see you as beautiful and strong and, and how could you be with someone like Victor when I don't really even see that much of a difference between Victor and Tucker. So I don't know. I, I hope that Tucker is being sincere. I really do. Uh, but his intentions worry me. Um, I feel like Ashley has been through so much in the past year, that she deserves a little happiness. 
it was nice to feast our eyes on a hunk of Daniel this week. We haven't seen a hunk of Daniel in a while, so it was nice to see. But why does he have to choose Abby to show his hunkiness? I don't know. Maybe she is exactly what he deserves because he's obviously not ready for a real relationship right now. So you know what? Never mind. Go ahead, Daniel. Just go ahead. Jump in the shallow end if that's what you want to do. Um, how do you guys feel about this? Do you like Daniel and Abby? Are you feeling it? I mean, I don't know. It was really best, probably best moment of the week, though, was when Phyllis and Nikki caught Daniel and Abby out by the pool after their evening together. Um, I thought that was brilliant. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Daniel and Abby will be fun for now, but I, I see disaster ahead. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but for once I actually agree with Phyllis butting in on this relationship of Daniel's because really, truly, save yourself the trouble, Daniel. If you're looking for a distraction, a distraction, get a hobby. The Hoff is back. <laughs> We've had a star-studded week in YNR. Star-studded two weeks, actually. Um, I don't really like David Hasselhoff, to be honest with you, but he does seem to have kind of an old-school soap air about him that I can appreciate. Um, you know, it just... He seems so kind of chauvinist, sort of, in a way, um, that I just, I don't really, I don't really like. The way he grab, and, and uh, okay, I'm, tr I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to separate the character from the man, obviously, but, um, the character of Snapper, the way he grabbed the nurse, you know, after she made the mistake with the, with the fluid, I don't know, it was, there was something about it that just kind of bugged me. I just imagine David Hasselhoff preparing for this role, like, <laughs> you know, like, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna take charge on the set and I'm gonna show everybody and huff, huff, puff, huff, huff, puff. You know, he, I don't know. He warmed up as the week went on. Um, he seemed more lovable. He was just so like, I'm gonna get in there and kick some butt. I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah. He warmed up as the week went on, though, so I'm going to give him points for that. And I enjoyed his interaction with Jill. Um, he was actually making an effort to connect with her. But I think that the main... My main problem with this storyline has nothing probably to do with David Hasselhoff or Snapper. Um, I, th I feel like my main complaint about this storyline is that the whole thing felt rushed, you know? Uh, and kind of disconnected from anything else that's going on in Genoa City. Um, I... I can't help but feel like the writers have ostracized Jill for like the past year. You know, they haven't given her any good storylines. They haven't incorporated her into anything else that's going on. Um, and so it was really hard to get into her struggle with her mom's illness, although it was very uh, moving um, and it hit close at home in a lot of ways. Um, but I, I just kind of felt like, you know, They've done so much to distance us from Jill that it was hard to connect with her. But I am actually very happy that this storyline is kind of serving as a gateway into uh, better storylines for Jill. Her search for her real parents. Her search for her real parents is going to be very interesting. And at the end of Friday's show, I think it was the very last scene, Jill shows up at Lauren's doorstep after finding out who her real parents are. So, is Jill a Fenmore? Is, is Lauren Jill's sister? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to find out all of the dirty details about this storyline. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I can't wait to find out, but don't tell me. I like to be spoiler free. Okay, just a quickie for this week. Um, it's been a very busy one for me. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't leave me a comment and correspond with me here on YouTube. So leave me a message down in the text box below and we can chat about your thoughts about the show. I can't wait to hear what you are all observing. Um, yeah, it's kind of been a crazy week for me and it's probably going to be a couple more crazy weeks. So there may be um, shorter videos, but I'm still here and I'm still watching and I still love you and I look forward to hearing from you. If you um, want to check up on me before next week, you can go to my website at buttonhead.org. Otherwise, I will be back next week and we can continue to chat about the show then. So um, 
take care everybody. Happy watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. You got to know when to hold up. Know when to fold up. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for count. When the dealing's done.